So I got done listening to a great video that Jake Bruden from the Build Show did about building science and specifically about the um, uh, four layers that go into building a, uh, a tight home and a comfortable home. And as he pointed out, the number one layer that you need to worry about is water. And then next, you also need to worry about your air. And then you also need to worry about the vapor and you also need to worry about thermal. And so that got me thinking, hey, you know what? With one system, I covered all four with this five-story multi-generational passive ICF house that I've DIY built and done mostly on my own. And so with the ICF, obviously the concrete acts as an air barrier because it's very hard for air to go through eight inches of concrete. It's also my thermal um, uh, layer in that I've got two and a half inches of foam on the outside, two and a half inches of foam on the inside. And so it's really good to have your insulation on the outside. And then in terms of water, I've got the two and a half inches of EPS and then I've got eight inches of concrete. But in addition to that, I'm also going to be putting on a, a, a rubber membrane on the outside just as kind of belt and suspenders. And with that, that creates a vapor problem because vapor needs, to, you need to be able to dry either in or out. So by putting that on the outside, it means that I need to always dry in. So I need to make sure that future posterity never puts anything like um, a, a plastic wallpaper on the outside of, of the walls because otherwise, as Joe Stebrick says, you'll end up with a diaper and you don't want to do that. So I always need to be able to, to dry in because that rubber membrane on the outside. And uh, then let's see, so I hit the, the water, the air, the thermal. I've got a million pound thermal battery um, with that concrete. So that also helps with the thermal and then uh, with the vapor because I'll be able to dry in. So the four main layers of a good building science home ICF actually does cover. And I know as much as Jake loves ICF, he probably doesn't want to hear that, but it's the truth. So anyways, if you want to um, follow along as I do this crazy journey of DIY building this thing, be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.